If you are migrating to Google Cloud, you are probably wondering how your team's responsibilities might change. How do you ensure that users remain in continuous compliance and how do you manage and analyze cost? Well, keep watching as we answer some of these questions. Welcome to Cloud Migration 101, where we share migration tips and tricks. In the last two episodes, we learned about resource hierarchies, access control, permissions using IAM, security, networking, and monitoring within Google Cloud. Today, let's address some of the questions that impact your broader business objectives. For this, let's get Travis back. Hi, I'm Travis. Today, we are going to focus on three main questions that business stakeholders worry about during a migration. As you migrate to cloud, how will your IT responsibilities and business processes change? How can you support and meet your regulatory compliance requirements? And how will you assess and analyze costs and billing? Let's get started with the most common scenario. You have owned and operated your data center for years. How will your ownership, access, and responsibility change as you migrate to Google Cloud? During and after your migration, the shared responsibilities between you and Google Cloud may be different than those you are used to. The processes to provision, configure, and consume resources might also differ. We have added a link in the description for the terms of service and the Google security model that will provide you an overview of the contractual relationship between your organization and Google. You're probably wondering, how can you support or meet your regulatory compliance needs? For example, HIPAA or GDPR during and after your migration to Google Cloud. We provide a robust compliance resource center that can provide information about industry, region, and sector-specific regulations like PCI, GDPR, HIPAA, FedRAMP, and many more. If geography and data residency are critical factors for you, Google offers resource location constraints to ensure workload compliance with data residency requirements and direct regionality controls for many of our services. Now, as you move to Google Cloud, how can you make sure that your users support and meet your compliance needs? Developing a governance strategy is important to create alignment among stakeholders in business leadership. When planning your migration, you want to establish standards around things like naming conventions, labeling strategies, access and security controls, and cost controls. Speaking of cost, cloud billing helps you control, assess, and analyze cost. It allows you to attribute spending on a particular project or workload to the correct cost center. You can also set up alerts for your spending budget. For example, you could use cloud functions to enforce and monitor a compliance as code solution to verify names and labels on provisioned resources and inspect your own IAM policies and resource hierarchy to ensure the standards are being followed. With this solution, you gain full auditing capabilities as a byproduct of every service and action. The last question I would like you to answer for yourself and your organization is, what type of support and help you need in order to take on the migration? The answer could be, you will do it all yourself with the help of training and certifications, or you would do it partially with a partner or completely hand it off to a partner. You have options depending on where you are in your cloud journey. Talk to your Google team for best guidance. All right, Travis, I got this. All right, back to you. That was amazing. We learned about governance, billing, and some important enterprise considerations like shared responsibility models and data residency. For more details, check out the entire guide linked below. And stay tuned for the next episode where we will take this migration journey forward. In the meantime, give us a like, subscribe, and comment below to let us know what else you would like to learn about cloud migration.